Let's go to her body. What? Lots of them there. Oh, hey! Wait, what are you doing? Nothing, we're just taking some fat. No! We found ourselves at the Careface Treatment Center in Norway, where people who can't stop using Facebook gather to face the consequences of their addiction. We at Careface are very proud to be the first institution in the world to treat people with a Facebook addiction. In a very short period of time, around 30 days, we treat people and help them to turn their lives around. At first I thought, I thought this place was horrible. Without my Facebook I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. Every time when I closed my eyes, all I could see was my Facebook profile. And every time when I did something, when I worked out, ate food or anything, I just wanted to write about it on Facebook. Mainly in this program, we are trying to help people to realize that there are other things in life than Facebook that can make them happy. You see, there's a lot of patients that use Facebook to fill an emptiness in their lives and our job is to find where this emptiness and everything is rooted and then replacing it with something positive. This isn't Facebook. Everyone, today we got this newcomer among us. So, will everyone say hello to Lars? Hello, Lars. Excellent. So, you will be joining our group. Group? Life? Yes. Stop, I'm sorry, I just we'll slipped out. We've been talking about... just slipped out, sorry. Yes, we are yes, not sorry, allowed sorry, to sorry, like sorry. anything here, right? Okay, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes. Nice. So, would you please have a sip? Okay. Okay. Uh, Nikolai, why won't you show Lars how we do this exercise? My name is Nikolai and I'm addicted to Facebook. I haven't logged into Facebook now for two weeks. Congratulations. That's really good, Nikolai. Now you go, Lars. Yeah, I don't really know what Facebook is. I do crystal meth. Uh, so I just sold my kids to buy drugs. You never heard of Facebook? You're a phony. While some of the patients are making progress, others are facing difficulties. One of our most severe cases is Daniel. He's been in and out here three times now, and he's having a hard time fighting his addiction. I need Facebook. I need Facebook! Facebook consumed my life. I used to have a girlfriend, a job, an apartment, and I lost it all to Facebook. I mean, when I first started, it was just nothing but harmless fun. Um, and then, you know, everything just turned around. I mean, more people just added me, and I just added them and they commented on my profile and I just did the same. I mean, it was just this strange euphoria. 
you know, from all that. I just started to call off sick from work, you know, started making up excuses and told people that I, you know, get into street fights and taking drugs, you know, just to hide my Facebook addiction. Another important part of the treatment program is group meetings where the patients can talk face to face. Today, we have a visitor. Mr. Slug! Hello, my name is Mr. Slug and I really want to know what your experience is with Facebook. So, Justin, why won't you tell me your experience? Uh, my first experience with Facebook was at a party. Um, I was there with a few friends and we were having a few glasses of wine and then this guy came and asked us if we were on Facebook. At first I was a little scared but he, he told me there was nothing to worry about so I logged on and it was really exciting so I had to log on again the next day and the next day after that and Every day I had to log on to Facebook. Uh, that's okay. Go on. I've been trying to quit many times, but the urge is just so strong. And one time I was even I was even so desperate I I tried MySpace. God, that's horrible. You're really desperate. In here, we got the cafeteria, where we also arrange group meetings and, uh... It's a Facebook profile! And they even left comments! I can't believe it! I just can't believe it! Who did this? Tell me, who did this? This is a major, major setback for the whole group! There's a rumour that uh, there's a relationship between uh, one of the patients and uh, an employee. Really? Don't be silly. This patient got a really serious condition. He uh, got his Facebook account deleted. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty serious. Do I think Facebook should be banned? Not really. I think the most important thing is moderation. And I think that... Uh, just wait a second. But as the weeks went by, I, I learned that I didn't have to comment and publish everything around me to be happy. Because now I was free. I was free to enjoy the simple things in life without time to share it with everyone else. <laughs> and I really just can't picture my life without Facebook, you know? I just can't stop. <laughs> I, I can also say that getting free from Facebook, it saved my life. It saved my life. Do you fear that you have an addiction or want to help others? Join us on Facebook today.